or means uh, it's uh, an acronym for advanced risk machine so they started to work with uh, risk architecture based microcontrollers uh, in 1990 this company was founded and they are specialized in uh, cpu ibs uh, so that is the microprocessors and also some physical ips compilers soc architect uh, infrastructure and so on so system on chip soc means okay and they are as i mentioned like this company is dominating the embedded market 75 percent in the entire world so you can imagine how strong they are now so but when we talk about arm please remember arm does not produce any chips but they are just only designers they are they, it's called a design house so they are uh, designing and selling the license of its architecture to others so i develop the microcontroller architecture and then i sell it to other companies that is the job of this arm so there are more than 200 companies around the world they have bought the arm architecture and provide their arm chips so that is what i said in this uh, sorry here I, as i said like this is the arm core and the other blocks developed by other company and they manufacture this entire microcontroller this other blocks was manufactured by st microelectronics in this case but you can see here how many companies all these logos are indicating so they everyone they bought the core arm core they bought the core from this arm so they bought this uh, core and then they developed the other blocks and then they come up with a new microcontroller so you can see here one of uh, some of the famous companies like uh, yamaha ibm you know ibm chip and of course even the tsmc and umc is here and panasonic so sony samsung and ericsson philips doshiba mitsubishi electric sharp so these are texas instruments so these companies are major companies actually around the world so they are buying the arm core it means you can see the quality of their work it's not like a so old company it's just like uh, 30 years only so they grow they grew very fast and they are selling they got the market around the world almost 75 percent okay so here are different versions of the core uh, introduced by arm this, uh, this is called arm families of course uh, okay so here is the uh, there are different types or different numbers uh, they use for example here arm 70 dmi arm 9e arm 11 and then this was actually kind of old versions and now they have cortex so cortex they are short they are just calling their core as a cortex uh, yeah, because this is the core for the entire microcontroller so cortex a by r cortex m cortex m under the cortex m they have different versions so M3, M4, um, three, SC300 and M7. And similarly, they have here under this another Cortex-M version, M0, M1 and AC00. So these all are uh, different uh, versions they are introducing every year uh, because they need to catch the market, they need to stay in the market. You know Nokia, right? So some years ago, Nokia was very, very famous to sell the cell phones. But nowadays, no more Nokia. Nokia is still here, but they lost the market. Who is taking the market now in the mobile phone industry? So now Samsung, recently in front of our eyes, Huawei died last year. So even in Norway, many, many of us are using this phone brand, Huawei. But uh, nowadays, no more Huawei. So they now we are using Samsung or some other brands. So same like that. So right now it's the term for ARM. So they are in the upper hand. We don't know who will take the market uh, very soon in the future. So they have developed, introduced the Cortex M0, M1, M3, M4, or similarly R4, R5, and so on. So each core has its own advantages and disadvantages. The number of peripherals, number of timers, ADCs, memory capacity, 
clock speed so it will vary in each core and of course it's depending on the application you are going to use you can select which core you want to buy and of course the cost is another important factor so the first one is a classic category another one is embedded another one is application specific so of course the eight st microelectronics uh, because we are going to buy use the stm32 so they bought the core from arm and then they are uh, manufacturing their microcontroller so this is also an international uh, company and this was founded in 1987 just three years after the arm uh, sorry before the arm arm was 1990 and ST microelectronics was founded in 1987 they are similar age almost and their specialty is manufacturing ICs smart cards you know where when we enter into the house or office even in the university campus we are using the card smart card and microcontrollers this is their market so uh, st introduced stm8 that is the 8 bit mcus uh, nowadays we are not really using 8 bit mcus anymore mostly and we switched to stm32 32 bit microcontroller units and you can see the stm family here in the right side so i had given some hint note down cortex in x axis so here is the cortex and the performance and low power in y axis so they also introduce several families so each microcontroller has its own speed and dmips you know mips million instructions per second this is another unit we use that so uh, here you can see uh, cortex m0 they have uh, for example here uh, cortex m0 have two versions so one is clock speed 32 megahertz another one is 48 megahertz and after that they introduced another version called m3 m3 it has 32 megahertz and it has 93 cortex mark or core mark and they have the 33 dmips so this is what i mentioned here dmips and here the another version of the same one but this one is okay remember this first one is ultra low power so if you are after the low power then you can choose either of these green but if you are uh, looking for some other uh, kind of mainstream then you can choose our uh, general purpose you can choose this dark blue color or black color uh, so here also they have different cores uh, so if you are looking for mainstream then you can choose also either of these cores and also if you are looking for high performance very very high speed uh, depending on your critical applications for example if you are going to use the microcontroller in aeronautics then maybe you prefer to have very high performance and you you don't care about the cost so then you can go with uh, this top version for example uh, in this version also they have different cores they have m3 m4 m7 so there are so many versions and each version has its own advantages uh, and the cost will vary based on the uh, the factor or uh, the future supported by this microcontroller okay so but in your uh, project you are going to use stm32 l4 so l is uh, low power actually l indicates so i already told you stm means what and 32 is a bit 32 bits data width and then the low power the version 4 so here you have the clock speed 80 megahertz 80 and then it has the 100 dmips so and it has cortex m4 as a core so remember this that is why i made a red circle so this is what you will be using in your final project and also uh, each version has a different number of pins 36 pins or 48 pins or 64 pins and so on and also you can see the flash memory size so it will also vary and of course the cost will also vary based on that so if you really go for the more number of pins and then if you want the more number of memory then you have to go somewhere here and then the, this is the top version here left topmost 
and the price will be also uh, also uh, very high so this is uh, just an overview so in this course i recommend you to browse a uh, little more details uh, it's uh, some definitive guide to arm cortex m they have some pdf uh, they have a lot of pdf so you can if you are interested you can go into the arm website and you can browse through so you can see all these details there you can check all these versions and also you can go to the stm32 uh, sorry stm.com uh, that is the st microelectronics uh, website you can especially you can look into this 32 bit microcontroller and how many different versions they have and so on and also you can check some other uh, reference websites it has also similar informations about arm and st microelectronics and stm32 reference manual this is the most important thing for you to go through so this is important for you to understand how this AT, STM32 microcontroller, uh, the architecture is working and how they organized the modules and blocks and how the communication is happening between the cores or different blocks. So all these detail, pin details and everything is given in the reference manual. So you can also go through that and try to understand some details. I had also given the link to download this reference manual. Okay, so, so far, uh, upon the completion of this lecture session, what we had seen so far, you are able to understand basics of microcontrollers and microprocessors and different microcontroller families. They have from M1 to M7, they have different families. And also you have some information about ARM and ST families. And the basic information about these two companies. 